so uh, major part of today's lecture would be on the board work would be the board work some common points general tips most of you already know it telling you again nothing is going to be new today i am just trying to remove your confusions just trying to put a clear picture of this topic you will understand this topic slowly and gradually it needs your mathematical sense it needs your chemical sense it needs your common sense all different senses you have to apply on this topic right okay <clears throat> so let's begin if i write here n a 2 co 3 so how many of you can recognize its name n a is the symbol of sodium co 3 is carbonate it's so its name is sodium carbonate okay i'm asking how many sodiums can you see over here you said just two because the subscript here is two so how many sodium right now two sodiums how many carbons one carbon no subscript one how many oxygens three so if i ask how many sodiums carbon or oxygen are here it says two sodiums one carbon and three oxygen let's see suppose is written like this now if i ask the same question that how many sodiums do we have here then here you can see a number as coefficient here we have four moles here we have only one mole one is written over here here we have is written four so four should be multiplied with these subscripts so if i ask how many sodiums so we will say four to the eight how many sodiums eight sodiums how many carbons you see, see what is the number written here one so four ones are four one carbon and if i ask how many oxygens do we have four threes are twelve so you write that there are twelve oxygens four threes are twelve so what is the main point that we have revised here that the if a number is written as a coefficient you should have to multiply the number by the subscript to find out the number of atoms c another example <clears throat> how many of you can can name this this is magnesium this is phosphate magnesium phosphate magnesium phosphate asking you the question how many magnesiums three how many phosphorus phosphorus inside the bracket so recalling your memories this little subscript two should be multiplied with this two ones are two so i write here right now there are three magnesiums two phosphorus Two for the eight oxygens. If the same is written like this, with a coefficient like three is the coefficient. Now, how many magnesiums? 
three, threes are nine. How many phosphorus? Phosphorus is inside the bracket, so this two is going to be multiplied. And also this three. So what is the answer? Three, ones are three, three to the six. So there are six phosphorus. I repeat, phosphorus, what is the symbol? What is the number written over here? Nothing means one. So three ones are three, and then three to the six. And finally, how many oxygens? Three, four to the 12, 12 to the 24. You should know all of these. First thing, wait a minute. <clears throat> Look at the board. Chemical reactions. What do you mean by the chemical reaction? Something new is forming. The product, the formulas on the other side of the arrow of the arrow would be different. For example, if it's written Ca CO3 plus HCl. What do you mean by the word plus over here? It means you have two things. One and two. These two things are reacting with each other. This is chemical number one. This is chemical number two. These two are reacting here and forming something like calcium chloride how will you know this it will be given to you it will be given to you okay in most of the cases then h2o then carbon dioxide so these two are reacting together to forming this product. One, two, three. What is the point that I would like to highlight here? That the left hand side and right hand side, they have different formulas. Okay? You can't expect the CSU3 written over here. No, never. It's like a reaction, it's a chemical reaction. All right? <clears throat> and Another clarification, another clarification. Let's see an example. Suppose it's written X, Y, arrow, X2. If I ask how many X do we have on left side? One. Two different numbers. Here we have only one x, here we have two x. If I ask, just balance them. Then, suppose if I don't know chemistry, then I say, okay, it's very easy to balance them. I'll write two over here. Oh my, it's two. two. How many x? Two. How many x? Two. If you do like this, it's a blunder. Whenever you balance an equation, never ever we can't write over here some script. We can only write as the coefficient. We can write here. We can write here. Okay. What is the point here? To balance, if you want to write a number, never ever write a number as subscript. But we can only write in the beginning of our compound. For example, we might write like this or here or here, but never over. Okay. So this is another point. So with this technical terms, let's start today's practice session.